from the Target 12 investigators. More concerns tonight about politics playing a role in protecting a local business. Now a Cranston City Councilor is questioning whether a tree company is operating on residential land. Target 12 investigator Walt Butel has more on the story he reported first on last week. Northeastern Tree Service is located in the middle of a residential neighborhood, and many are asking whether thousands of dollars in campaign contributions are playing a role in this controversy. Cranston land records show Northeastern Tree Service is located on just over an acre of commercially zoned land. Business owner Michael S. Seepy also owns all but two homes adjacent to his business, storing equipment, this 20-foot pile of logs, and even larger mounds of mulch on some of that residential land. And you just can't do that. Those, those are residential properties that cannot be used for commercial use. Just Councilman Steven Stikos asked Mayor Alan Fung's Director of Administration Dan Perillo to look into the Northeastern tree zoning concerns in January. Stikos asked for an update last week at a City Public Works Committee meeting. I didn't get an answer. I was shocked. That's why I laid it all out last month. Neighbors on both sides of Northeastern Tree say they were here before CP's business expanded and started grinding mulch. Um, we haven't opened our windows in 25 years. In 2013, the General Assembly passed a law protecting mulch manufacturers from being considered a nuisance to neighbors for noise, dust, or pesticides. Campaign finance records show six of the eight General Assembly sponsors of the bill have received political contributions from CP over the years. Neighbors, lawmakers, and other business owners have told us the law was passed solely for CP's business. House sponsor Charlene Lima and other lawmakers deny those claims. Taxpayers of Cranston. Records also show Mayor Fung has received $4,500 in contributions from Michael S. CP since 2013 and another $2,000 from a Michael J. CP whose employer was listed as Northeastern Tree. Are there thoughts that politics are involved in not getting it looked at? Oh, I think that it could be a factor. In a brief conversation, CP said he doesn't think zoning is an issue, but he would not elaborate. Mayor Fung declined a request to comment. His director of administration tells us the city is looking into the zoning concerns with a site visit planned for later this week or next week. With the Target 12 investigators, Walt Butow, Eyewitness News.